Hi, I'm Robert Philpott with the Fort Worth Star-Telegram. We are here at AT&T Stadium with Heather Fuller, the concession chefs for uh, Legends and AT&T Stadium. They're doing a food preview today. Um, there's about, what, I'd say about 10 new dishes out here? 11. 11, 11 new yep. dishes. So uh, what, what's some of the special stuff? What's, uh, what's different about this year's new offerings? Um, this year's new offerings, we kind of played up a, fun, a f couple of fun things from our sponsors, Frito-Lay. Um, we also kind of made a nice little twist on several items and then um, some things that are just fun to eat. That's what we want to do here is kind of make it fun, make everything nice and fun. We want you to enjoy your experience when you come to the stadium and the food is a big part of that. And there's, there's some uh, international influences here. There's some African influences, Mexican influences, European influences. Yes. So, um, for example, like right here with the kimchi burger, I'm sorry, the pork belly burger, we have kimchi on it that we get from a local uh, produce company. So we've got the Asian, we've got the Mexican, we've got the African, as you were stating. So several different influences for different crowds and different tastes. Okay. Um, go ahead. All right. a description of the pork belly burger. So the pork belly right. burger, it's, um, it's a fresh baked brioche bun that we get from a local bakery. And then it's a 10 ounce uh, certified Angus patty. It's got pepper jack cheese, it's got uncured pork belly, it's got the kimchi, it's got hoisin sauce, and it's got a special aioli on that as well. I'm a, I will never learn to take small bites. Um, <laughs> I'm a big fan of pork belly, like the sauce on this, like the um, the burger flavor. We've had samples out here for a while. We're coming taking these from the samples, so mm -hmm. not the not the ideal because these samples have been out here for a while, but mm -hmm. still a good flavor to it. Yes, absolutely. Um, this is um, something I'm very interested in because there's um, to this next dish there is a uh, option where you can get it either with the chicken or um, the um, or for vegetarians, and I'm married to a vegetarian. Okay. Plus you would like this. Yeah, so this is the, uh, we call it the African Spice Super Grain Bowl. So the base of it is, it's brown rice, it's um, barley, key, um, sorry, farro. And so it's, it's nice and flavorful. It's got uh, cumin spice, coriander. And then on the top, we have a chicken thigh that's seasoned with ducka spice, which is, um, it's native to Africa. And then we've got the nice fresh cucumber mango salsa on the top just to kind of pull it all together. But you can get this without the chicken if you want it to be a vegan or vegetarian option. And um, the, chicken is, the chicken is quite good, but I also tried it without, <coughs> without, the, um, without the chicken just to get um, an idea of what it's like. And it's very uh, served, it looked like it's served in sort of a small dish so that it's kind of portable like everything else yeah, here. Yeah, so this is the actual dish that it's served in whenever you were to buy it at the stadium. The sample ones are just, they're just small for sampling. But um, this is the portion that you get when you come to the game. Okay, and then we have the Mexican influence with um, something very much from my neck of the woods, sopapillas. Yes, so we've got the sopapillas, and then it's um, we have a jalapeno butter as well that we made to go on it, and then the classic honey. Just um, It's fun, but it also the jalapeno butter is kind of a kick. It's usually it's regular butter, but um, they're, they're delicious all together. Yeah, I, I had this. I really like the mix of um, the sweet and the savory, yeah. the, the honey, sticky honey, the yeah. creaminess of the, the jalapeno cheese. Yeah, it's something that you wouldn't expect to find in a stadium as well. So that's that's our goal is things that are unique to a stadium environment. Now, these next two items are very into the um, handheld um, uh, idea. So you can take stuff around the stadium and... Uh, um, just bite into it, a couple of cone items. Yes, so we've been wanting to do an elote for a while, but we were trying to figure out, you know, how can we make it special and not like any other elote that you would find anywhere else. So whenever we uh, were doing some research, we found these bread cones. And we said, hey, you know, I've never seen an elote in a bread cone. And then um, that's kind of where that idea grew. So the elote, it's got the corn. It's a jalapeno roasted corn, and then it's got a poblano mayo. And then you've got your hot sauce, cotilla, cilantro. Um, it's delicious. It's really fun because it's in the cone. And then our second cone option is the brisket mac and cheese cone. So it's our famous Cowboys mac and cheese with the brisket that we smoke here in house, 14 hours. And then it's got our signature barbecue sauce, jalapenos. Um, this idea was pretty much born from our bent buckle locations where people were like, oh, can I have the macaroni and brisket? Where that wasn't an option at first, and now it is. 
So. <clears throat> Good mix in both. I, I really like the hot sauce on the elote. I'm a hot sauce guy. Yeah. It's not it's not fire. It's not so fiery that it's going to burn your palate. Um, but uh, but it's, it's got enough of a kick for people who like hot sauce. Yeah. And I, I really like the mix of the macaroni and cheese and the brisket on the brisket cone. This, however, was, I believe, and we, I'm, we're here at uh, AT&T Stadium with Heather Fuller, the concession chef uh, for Legends at AT&T Stadium. We're doing a uh, preview of the um, food that's going to be available at Cowboys games um, the, uh, this season. And uh, I'm here also with uh, off-camera producer uh, Steve Wilson. Both Steve and I loved the this, this DCQ, um, DCQ barbecue done the Cowboys way. And there's a lot of barbecue on this, so go ahead. Uh, I'm going to take another bite and uh, um, give us a description. Okay, so this is, um, it, it's been in the making for quite a while. But again, it's, you know, we want to make sure that it's perfect before we debut it. So the DCQ, it's, it's short for Dallas Cowboys Q. So, Dal or so barbecue done the Cowboys way. It's a soft um, hoagie bun, and then we've got our famous Cowboys mac and cheese, and then it's a jalapeno uh, pepper jack sausage that we grill. We split right down the middle, and then we put our brisket and our signature barbecue sauce and jalapenos on top of that as well. And um, it kind of just, everything just ties in really nicely together. Now, um, you work with a lot of local vendors here, and you work with Paul Quinn College. So uh, talk yeah. about the Paul Quinn relationship. Okay, so um, Paul Quinn, they actually, um, they were, uh, they had a football team and they turned their football field into a farm. And so that farm, it produces uh, vegetation for several different restaurants around the DFW. But um, a good majority, I would say about at least a third of all the vegetables that we use here come from Paul Quinn College. So if you think about it, that's a lot. And um, our food and beverage director actually went to school there, so that kind of um, is a nice tie-in as well. But um, Paul Quinn, they, you know, they kind of they plant their stuff based on our needs and for the football season. So. And Paul Quinn is um, is Dallas. It's, um, yes, it's in Dallas. It's a historically black college, but um, you know they they the farm is awesome. Like we we go, we go out there every year and we help plant. We were just out there. Um, at the end of July, I believe it was, and we were helping plant pumpkins that we'll actually use in November to make pumpkin pies and things like that. So that was nice and fun. So we, <clears throat> the next item is um, both Asian-inspired and uh, virtuous, uh, the Thai veggie wrap um, with um, a wheat tortilla. Um, yeah. So the, this is the Thai veggie wrap. So it's got, um, it's got the spinach, it's got broccoli slaw, some sweet pepper, some green onion. It also has a, a spicy Thai peanut sauce. So if you're allergic to peanuts, that's not the thing for you, but um, it's delicious and it is very much so Asian inspired. And um, it's getting a lot of rave reviews. Um, it's got, I really, you know, it's got a good mix of textures on it. And, yeah, uh, and I do, I, I love peanut sauce, so. Um, and we go down again to more uh, Mexican influence with uh, salsa chicken tacos. Um, compliments on the salsa. The salsa is very good. It's another thing where somebody who likes spicy food, I got a nice kick out of it without it being palate blowing. And barbacoa tacos. So talk about um, those a couple. So the salsa chicken tacos, we make the we make all the we make the meat here in house. We um, we get the chicken in. We marinate it. We make fresh charred red salsa. We marinate the chicken in the salsa, and then we cook it in the salsa. And, um, you know, it kind of just keeps the flavor together, so it's nice and moist. The green sauce that's on there is actually a tomatillo avocado salsa that um, we originally were using for our uh, al pastor tacos. That's how we first uh, introduced it to the stadium. But now it's kind of nice to have a second use for that item. And then it's just got um, a little drizzle of sour cream with um, fresh made pico. And then the barbacoa tacos, again, um, we prepare that meat in-house as well. Um, we roast that in the oven overnight. And then um, that has a, what's called a bang bang sauce. It's like a spicy chipotle sauce with the sour cream and the pico on that as well. This, <coughs> uh, we're at uh, AT&T Stadium uh, with Heather Fuller, the concession chefs for Legends in AT&T Stadium. They're doing a preview today of the uh, food, they'll, the new food they'll be serving at Dallas Cowboys games this season. This next item was one of my favorites. Um, all it says is chicken wrap, 
but there's a lot more to it than chicken wrap. There's definitely a lot more to it. So this is an item that we had last season, but we revamped it. Um, we have a partnership with Frito-Lay, so we try to incorporate their items into our menu um, as much as we can when it, you know, where it makes sense. And so what we have here is we have the chicken wrap that we had, and we just added the crushed nacho cheese Doritos. So it's romaine lettuce, the tomato, the, ch the chicken strips, and then it has a jalapeno avocado ranch, and then the nacho cheese Doritos. And um, the chicken <coughs> has enough crunch on its own with that breading, but then you get the extra crunch from the Doritos. Uh, it was it was like I said, it was one of my favorites, and then I understand that this is one of your favorites. This one is my favorite. So um, buffalo chicken has always been a big thing for me. So whenever we we also had this item last year, or we've had the buffalo chicken sandwich for several years, but this year we totally revamped it. Um, we added the cool ranch Doritos as well as a ranch slaw. Uh, so it kind of it kind of it it kind of soothes the heat so because the buffalo sauce that we use it's not too too spicy but it's um it ties in really well together with the ranch slaw now in the media guide there are a couple of items that aren't out here um obviously i don't think you could do samples of the sundays um yeah, so the ice cream sundae is new um we have those at the ice cream carts but it's the sundae glass which we have um it could be a souvenir cup for you once you're done and then um, it's got vanilla or chocolate soft serve, but it's got brownies and Oreos and sprinkles and whipped cream. So it's um, it's definitely a favorite. My my daughter devoured one the very first game <laughs> that it was out. So um, it's definitely kid approved. But I've seen several adults that you know were enjoying them the last few games as well. Uh, and then uh, I believe there was uh, some mac and cheese balls. Yeah. So we have um, again our partnership with Frito Lay. Um, we have Cheetos mac and cheese balls. So we have the, the macaroni that we have now, but we make it Cheetos macaroni. We add the Cheetos flavor in there, and then we make it into balls that we bread with uh, crushed up jalapeno cheddar Cheetos. And then we, um, we have a jalapeno ranch that we drizzle on top, and then we uh, top it with, the, with crushed up flaming Hot Cheetos just for that pop of color, the red. And uh, there's some other desserts uh, they're on display, but um, several reporters kind of attacked the, the display. But there are some really, this uh, AT&T Stadium has a very good dessert program. Yes, so um, we, we're a completely scratch-made uh, pastry kitchen. We're the only stadium in the NFL that has our own pastry kitchen. So um, we, we do house-made gelatos. We do uh, cookies. We also have Frito-Lay cookies where they incorporate you know the chips into the cookies and they're surprisingly really good <laughs> um, a lot of people wouldn't expect it but um, those items are available in concessions as well as in the suites so um, anybody that comes to the game can enjoy those and there were uh, there was a whole bunch of stuff but there was macarons there was uh, cupcakes uh, they're the best chocolate chip cookies I think I've ever had uh, it's a it's a really good pastry program you will have some local uh, celebrity chefs coming in um, just to do special things for different games, correct? Yes. So um, every home game, we do have a local celebrity chef that typically um, either owns their own restaurant in Dallas or is the executive chef of a restaurant in Dallas. And um, they just come here and they, they put their own menu out. It's usually one or two items. And um, it's one of those, you know, once we're out, we're out type of thing. So it's a get it while you can get it it's um it's very fun and they usually always sell out but it's um it's nice to see all the different people and all the different food that is served around dallas and um, get to meet with all those chefs so there, there's a lot of uh, food near the stadium there's a lot of places to eat near the stadium and then texas live just opened near the stadium as well um but i i get the feeling that you guys don't have any problem. There's uh, there's enough uniqueness here that you get a lot of people uh, coming in and getting the food here. Yes, so um, we're not too worried about what's going on outside the stadium. We try to focus on what's going inside the stadium. So um, we just try to keep our menu options innovative and fun and um, you know changing constantly for the guests that way when they come in a lot of people they come in knowing exactly what they want they probably have seen a video similar to this and they say i want that so there's a lot of times i'll be right there by the doors and as soon as people come in where can i find this where can i find this so that's fun and it's nice to um to know that people are excited about the food when they come in not just the football 
Yeah, I am. Well, uh, I think we're wrapping this up. Uh, we're here with uh, Heather Fuller, the concession chef at AT&T Stadium and uh, Legends. Um, we taking a look at the new food offerings they've done. Uh, they're doing uh, for the Dallas Cowboys this season. And talking about <clears throat> coming back and going, where is this? I think uh, my producer, videographer, Steve Wilson, and I would be coming back and going, where is that DCQ sandwich? Right. So where, where can people find these things? Are, are they, is there a guide that they can look at to um, find them? There is a, a booklet that they can get when they come to the stadium. In the very back, it lists all of the food options that they can purchase, and it lists the sections at which those concession stands are located. So that way, if they want the DCQ, they know exactly where they can find it. And... Um, you know, I, I'm familiar with the the offerings at Rangers game and Globe Bike Park. They tend to be a little more over the top than y'all. Um, yeah. Are, are you just kind of letting the food stand on your own and not uh, not on its own and not kind of uh, be a little more showy? <laughs> yeah. So we try to stay away from all the gimmicky type of foods. So we um, we want when you come to the game, we want it to be more of a culinary experience. So where you can try several different things if you want instead of gorging yourself on one item, um, but it's, it's worked out, and it's going to continue to work out. But, um, you know, we do have one burger that is a giant burger. But that's pretty much our only um, our only offering that is big. It's a one-pound burger. So it is, um, it is made to share. You know, we don't expect people to eat it all on their own. Although, I do see a lot of college kids on college games eat that by themselves. <laughs> I could have easily done that. Yes. Oh, I'm Robert Philpott with the Fort Worth Star-Telegram. We've been talking with Heather Fuller, the concession chef with uh, Legends and AT&T Stadium, about the new offerings at um, Dallas Cowboys game, home games uh, this season. Uh, first home game is September 16th. Yeah. Um, thanks.